It is for me a very special privilege to be here in this city of a proud history and exquisite culture to represent the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, to witness this historic coronation of Alaji Aminu Adobayoro as the 15th Emir of Kano. Your Royal Highness, I bring the President's warm felicitations and personal good wishes. Your Excellency, Governor Umar Danduje, I congratulate you on this day of joy as you midwife a generational change of guards that few experience in their lifetimes or tenures, the swearing in and handing over of the staff of office to the new Emir of Canada in fulfillment of the extant laws and practice of the Emirate Council on the installation of Emirs in Canada. Your Royal Highness, I need not say to you that this city of Kano is no ordinary city. In both historical and modern times, Kano has always been refer revered as a major commercial and economic center in Africa and the melting pot of diverse tribes and cultures assimilated into a robust, vibrant, and cohesive whole. It is only with the tolerance of the culture of Kano, where opposite ideas can coexist peacefully, that you could have a thriving free market economy with several millionaires, and yet also be the base of the radical left of center political ideas. This is, after all, the city of the socialist man of the masses, Malam Aminu Kano, and many of his disciples. And Kano is also the home of the capitalist richest man in Africa, Alaji Adiko Dangote. Wherever you are from, whoever you are, you must feel at home in Kano. Kano Tubingiwa. Yeah. And here in Kano, and here in Kano, you cannot be better, you cannot be better than us from Kano. Kano Kodame Kazo Africa. And if you think, and if you think you live in a city, and if you think you live in a city, then you haven't been to Kano. As incredibly humorous people of Kano will say, Garini. We are, all, we are all proud. We are all proud of this city. Proud of its legacy of tolerance and warmth. And we are very proud indeed that it remains the home to all and for all Nigerians, regardless of tribe and ethnicity. Your Royal Highness, it is this great city over which God has given you the good fortune of being its monarch, a privilege which you know comes with the obligation of preserving the rich traditions of brotherhood of all tribes and tongues. You inherit not only one of the most revered thrones in Africa, but on a more personal level, your great father was known for his wisdom his courage and his integrity. He loved his people and served them with honor and complete commitment. You have a goodly heritage and you have a difficult act to follow, but we are confident that by the grace of God, you will exceed to the reputation of your illustrious forebears. So today, as you ascend the throne of your fathers, carrying with you the love and trust of your people, I can only offer you a prayer I pray that this land will prosper in your reign. I pray that the Almighty God will be merciful to you and to the people of this land, that his hand will be your guide and direct you daily. Your family and tribe will increase. Your days will be long. And as your days, so shall your strength, so shall your wisdom, and so shall your favor with God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.